It was really out of nowhere. Through different sources and juicy insider info, I found out that on Saturday, August 10th, tons of important people related to the Caltrain electrification and the California High Speed Rail project were invited to a VIP tour of the trains and its de facto inaugural service. Notable guests included California Governor Gavin Newsom, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senator Alex Padilla, the mayors of San Jose and San Francisco, the CEO of the California High Speed Rail Authority, and so many other people important to this project. Around the time of the event, Caltrain officially announced that their new trains would slowly be entering fare service as early as the day after, August 11th. The first electric train, 221, Tamian Station, 7.12 a.m., I was there. First and foremost, though, I of course have to shout out my awesome patrons, Jay Tanner, Damien Ibarra, my Patreon you know, Dan Robichaud Carew, Tony Stunts, Generic GT, Geezer Windbag, Oleg, Jake Brabick, Carlos DeLuca, and Flatlander. I could not do this content without you all, so thank you. It was a super cold Sunday morning. I woke up at 6.30 a.m. just super exhausted. But honestly, seeing that Stadler kiss really energized me, and it was worth the early rise. These trains are called electric multiple units, but I'm calling them emus for short. This isn't my first time stepping onto these cars, as Caltrain actually hosted a train tour of the park trains in a huge public event at Derridon Station last June. But it did honestly feel like I was stepping on for the first time this August 11th. The welcoming screen is beautiful, it's right there, and it lets you know of your time, and your current and next stops, and of course, your train number. All of these cars are bi-level, by the way, and actually bi-level, not like those Nippon Sharyo gallery cars from the 80s that are super outdated. The trains consist of two cab cars, a restroom car, two bike cars with bike racks on the first level, and two regular coach cars. I spent most of my time upstairs in a coach car, and I just love how they look. The clean, sleek design of the tables, to the seats, and the fact that every seat has an outlet is spectacular. The color scheme of the cars are pretty much the same as the Bombardier bi-levels, so don't expect anything flashy. The interior just has more of a modern flair, especially with the information screens. There are, is an interesting bathroom situation. There's only one per train, which honestly is pretty comical. For reference, there will be about 85 to 100 people per train at capacity, so at the very least there should be like two or three of the bathrooms per train. To be fair, they do look clean for the most part, there's nothing too fancy about them. You have your flush and attendant call buttons, a changing table, pretty standard and pretty European. In terms of onboard comfort, the seats are decent, they're not out of this world, but I am a fan of the fact that they kept the luggage racks. What's something that's truly amazing, and that you'll only get with an electric train, is how quiet everything is. No more loud background noises of the diesel engine accelerating as you depart from a station. No more ugly squealing of the brakes. These new brakes are much quieter, and they work better. And there are onboard announcements that are automated and not from a clunky and barely legible speaker that's kind of similar to BART. Also, the best thing, there's Wi-Fi on board. At least, officially there is. It wasn't really working for me, but I'm sure it'll be worked on before September. It's no debate that the acceleration on these emus is way higher than that of a diesel locomotive. Because of this increased acceleration and the DC motor which provides better speed control, these trains won't spend as much time accelerating and decelerating before and after stations, so the overall journey will be much quicker between two points. There are going to be new times. The express trains will operate in under an hour compared to 65 minutes today, but an underrated stat is that the local trains will operate in 75 minutes 
compared to 100 minutes today from San Jose to San Francisco. Also, every station from San Jose to SF will have service at least every 30 minutes during the weekday, weekend, and evening service. This is seriously going to increase ridership as half hour minimum headways are not great, but they're actually bearable versus a whole hour. So what's next? Not all the trains running right now are emus. You can still ride the old diesel trains being pulled by the EMD F40s and the MPIs, but as of September 21st, 2024, the only trains running between San Jose Diridon and San Francisco will be these emus. Caltrain will still use the old locomotives between Diridon and Gilroy for their four time a day weekday service, but if I'm being honest, that's gotta be bumped up. Like, um... Three, three, four, three, four times, maybe. I'll pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. That's all I have for you today. I just wanted to make a quick update video on the new emus. I am excited to go to the official emu inaugural ceremony on September 21st, and I'll for sure keep writing these emus beforehand. Thank you so much if you've made it this far, and I'll see you next time.